Hey all, welcome to this video, Web, Fast, Facts. I had a lot of questions about James Webb and its launch. Lucky enough, Space Telescope Science Institute shared some quick facts about Webb Telescope, and here I am, sharing them with you. Where will Webb Telescope launch from? If you have watched our Space Telescope episodes, you might know already. It is launching from Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana, onboard Ariane 5 rocket, chosen as launch provider by European Space Agency. Will Webb Telescope replace Hubble? Webb operates in spectrum which does not cover all the wavelengths that Hubble monitors. Ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared. So no, Webb will complement Hubble and many other missions, including ground-based telescopes. Where will Webb orbit after launch? Webb will orbit around Lagrange Point 2, a point of gravitational equilibrium between Sun and Earth, that is located at 1.5 million kilometers from Earth and away from Sun. It is the only Lagrange point out of the five, which is located far from Sun and suits best for an infrared telescope looking deep into the universe. Why won't Webb deploy in low Earth orbit for potential servicing missions? It is important for a $10 billion telescope to be serviced to maintain long life, but the mission goal and capturing noiseless image are much more important. For an infrared telescope such as Webb, with its immense sensitivity to peak into the past, slightest amount of heat will interfere with its measurements. How will Webb deploy in space? As Webb begins its one-month journey towards the L2 point, the first component to be deployed is the solar panel that will power the telescope for rest of the mission. The link to a video by Space Telescope Science Institute showing stage-by-stage -stage deployment is linked below in the description. At the completion of membrane tensioning, the secondary mirror deploys into position and is latched rigidly in place. The aft deployable radiator releases and springs into position allowing the instruments to radiate their waste heat directly into space and away from the telescope. Disposing of excess heat is crucial to the mission, so that it does not overwhelm the faint infrared signals to be collected from the cosmos. When will we see first images from Webb Telescope? Even though it takes just one month for Webb to reach its destination, it will take another five months or so, to test and prepare it for becoming fully operational. This infographic is a part of ESA's web launch kit, available in six languages. Download link is in the description. Which areas of science will Webb explore? Webb will be exploring the early universe, evolution of galaxies, life cycle of stars such as the newborns hiding inside gaseous nebulae, and planetary systems near and far. How big is the Webb telescope? The sun shields are 21.2 by 14.2 meters, or 69.5 by 46.5 feet, about the size of a tennis court, and the total height is 8 meters, or 28 feet. What is the expected lifespan of Webb Telescope? Webb is designed to have a minimum of 5 years of science operations, with a goal of greater than 10 years of mission lifetime. Since fuel determines the life of these kind of missions, set at one of the three unstable Lagrange points, Webb will have to do orbital correction maneuvers every 23 days to stay in orbit. How is Webb powered? Webb has a solar array that will provide 2000 watts of electrical power for the life of the mission. Even though Webb stays behind the Earth, it orbits in such a way that it is always exposed to sun's radiation, thus assuring consistent power supply. Can Webb's sunshield withstand micrometeoroid impacts? For the ease of launch, the sunshield needs to be foldable, therefore being one of the most thin and delicate component of the telescope. As thin as a plastic wrap, the layers are built with ripstops to prevent anything from piercing through too far. Why will Webb observe in infrared light? 
If there could be rightful comparison of James Webb to any other telescopes, it would be Spitzer. While Spitzer observed in mid and far infrared wavelengths, Webb will observe in near and mid infrared, allowing it to see into the past and through the dark, gaseous nebulae. With 65 times the mirror area of Spitzer, Hubble can provide more detailed observations. Who will have access to Webb data? All data from Webb will be publicly available online, just like all NASA missions. What will Webb telescope study? Webb will study all that emits infrared radiation, from planets of solar system to most distant galaxies, even those from when the universe was just 300 million years old. Will Webb examine exoplanet atmospheres? Since, the infrared light from stars can easily pass through most of the exoplanet's atmospheres, Webb can study them with the help of its onboard spectrographs. The first 13 targets of Webb, selected from over 100 proposals include, exoplanets WASP-39b and WASP-43b. If you feel like you want to know more facts about Webb Telescope, check out the official website handled by Space Telescope Science Institute. Thank you for being such an amazing support everyone. Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe.